perfect. The outside. It would be the outside. This you think is going to be affected by a low buttock contour, but it's not. This would actually be affected by a wide buttock contour. This is the seam that goes up the center of your buttocks and comes in between your legs to that inseam junction. So it's actually right here that is gonna be affected by that. Okay, so for seam method, we need to be working with that seam allowance. And we're going to come down to just about a little bit below crotch line intersection. And we're going to be coming up to about hip line. Those are gonna be our two points. And we are going to cut through here and have this be our pivot, okay? Now think about this curve right here, just like fabric, if you have that big of a curve, in order to make that curve bend and move, what do you need to do? You probably need to clip your seam allowance, right? So we're gonna put just a couple of clips in the curve so our curve, curve can manipulate correctly. I always put a, a relief cut or a, um, what else would you call it? A pivot cut on my corners, just to make sure that they can do what they're supposed to do. And um, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna cut it out first though. Trying to make it pivot is not gonna work unless I have it cut. Too much paper, won't manipulate. I'll cut quick. Turns out in the evenings I can either prep videos or I can prep paper for the next day, but I can't seem to find time to do both. For some reason, children think they need to eat. I don't get that, but whatever. Okay, so I would cut through right here. I would start to cut my seam allowance. Cut up about to hip line. I would cut a relief cut too, but not through, right at hip line. A couple of those in my curve. Make sure I've got one in my corner. And then get ready with some filler paper. Okay. Now, if we have a low buttock curve, That means that this is gonna extend out. Because what happens is I need more space right here. And the crotch curve is the only place where you think if you cut out more space that you're gonna get more room. And it's not, it's backwards, okay? So for a low buttock curve, I actually need a longer J curve. We're doing this move at a, ha a quarter of an inch. So right here from the crotch line, I am going to be measuring up a quarter of an inch onto my stationary paper so it doesn't go anywhere. And then I'm moving my seam line up that quarter of an inch. I wanna make sure that my seam line stays nice and flat. I don't get a weird bubble like this. That's why we have all those pivot cuts. And then this seam allowance down here is gonna go back to original seam line. So it's gonna tilt back into the leg. Okay. 